Hey everyone, it's Mona here at Craft Clutch, and today we're doing a Garbage to Gorgeous project. We are redoing a desk I found a couple years ago. Maybe you guys have heard of Unicorn Spin. I have heard of it, but I haven't used it. We're going to be using three colors. And if you're not familiar with Unicorn Spin, it is a gel stain. It comes in really pretty colors, and you can use it on wood, glass, lots of different things. And we are going to be using the Whitening, the Weathered Daydream, and for a pop of color, we are going to use the Zia Teal. So now I get to start doing the fun part. I want to give the inside of the desk a pop of color, and in order to do that, I'm going to actually prime it first. That was not my original intention, but because of the ink stains on the inside, I'm going to actually prime it first. The rest of the desk, I'm just going to stain using the unicorn spit. stripped and now all we need to do is stain it and I have two parts water to one part of the weathered daydream spit mixed together and now I'm going to just paint it right on here and I'm going to go with the grain and then before it dries you want to kind of give it a nice wipe you want to go section by section depending on how deep you want the color And we're going to let that dry and we will flip it over and do the other side. I've got my little desk raised up on spray paint lids and that's what I save them for. And now I'm gonna just use the white Ning. I will say, so far, I'm incredibly impressed with the Unicorn Spit. I've not ever worked with it before. It goes on so smoothly. It smells good, it's non-toxic, and the colors are beautiful. I love the gray and I love the blue so far. And I'm just gonna do the white. Again, I'm not watering it down and it goes far. I thought I wasn't gonna have enough. I think I got plenty. So I used the white on the wood and I wiped it off. I did not dilute it, but it's still, the yellow of the wood is still kind of shining through now that it's dried. And I want to cut a little bit of that down, especially since we have a gray top. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the white and a tiny bit of the weather daydream, because I don't want that to overwhelm the white. And I'm gonna take a little bit of both, a lot of white and a little bit of the gray. And I'm going for hopefully more of a driftwood look. See that gray is very strong. So we're just gonna add that every once in a while. And then we're gonna wipe it off. And then I have a little water here in case I need to do a little bit of blending. If something's looking a little too streaky, add just a little bit of water to my brush. And hopefully this will cut down on some of the yellow that was coming through. And we could take cloth and very lightly go over it just to take some of it off. 
And we're gonna let all this soak right into the wood and I'm gonna keep doing the same thing everywhere else. They also sent me their glaze coat to use over the unicorn spit. So we're gonna give that a try on the table as well. into the inkwell with a flower for a fun little look. Now if you open it up, you see the pop of color in there too. guys like the desk makeover and I hope you guys give the unicorn spit a try it is fun to work with colors are great they blend well together which you'll see in an upcoming video the desk went from a very yellowish old-fashioned kind of wood look and now it has new life as a fun beachy looking table with some storage I hope you guys like the transformation and I hope you give projects like this a try because it's really fun really rewarding thanks guys for being here and for watching I appreciate it more than you know if you haven't yet I have a Facebook group called creating with craft clutch whether you're a beginner or an expert crafter it doesn't matter I would love for you to join and it's a great place to kind of get together and share your crafting ideas and help other people out if some people are having problems or if you're having a problem and you're stuck on something you can go there ask a question and hopefully somebody can help you out so be sure to check that out I will have a link down in the description below and I will definitely see you next time remember life is too short not to shimmer so grab your glue gun and your glitter stay safe bye guys